There he is. Question about it. He's back. Okay. I don't know what this was. That seems fine. And we need our zoomy buttons. I think we just made those. Figma is not playing super well with my iPad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Again, not running into that thing. <laughs> okay, it's, I've tried. It's just we're not, we're not at that. Yeah. We're not in that world yet. Yeah, and Figma, we, I don't know that. Do you have an iPad Pro? Yeah. I think the, the, the Web 2 promise was uh, everything on mobile. And now now yeah. we're back. <laughs> Nope. Good effort, but no dice. Assume that these buttons are built well. Somebody can rebuild them if they like. Mm -hmm. Someone likes building. Yeah. So what are you doing? You're like laying out like a. Yeah, I'm so used to not talking template. through this stuff. Um, yeah. yeah. So what I'm doing is, uh, and I don't know if this is the best use of my time, but it's warming me up. So. Uh, That's fine. Um, so I'm just getting. I'm just getting the the like sort of assets in place, <clears throat> like so that they're move aroundable. Um. So rebuilding this few basically in figma so we have it as a, a reference so mm -hmm. this is where if somebody was good at figma to make these buttons and stuff into components that would be great i mean you can make notes about that on the side maybe sure or i can if i open figma <laughs> mm -hmm. Because the vision is that we would open up this Figma to the community for the community-wide session mm -hmm. on Friday, which I still haven't announced because I wanted to workshop some of the language here with you all, but of invitation, invitation language. Um, but yeah, if people can open the Figma and like see that there's like stuff to do, I think certain people will be like, oh, that's cool. I, I can do that. They might just. That's the working idea. Seems nice to me. I guess I've done that before in Figma, right? What? Componentized. Like, I worked on a prior project i don't remember maybe you remember dave um, with ponder a little bit probably i just yeah Put the component button or like feature function whatever is like purple yeah yeah Do we know, out of curiosity, if anyone was sort of making use of the Discord button there? Um, no like idea. It, there's a lot involved in making that feature happen, and I'm wondering if we should just get rid of it. Yeah, I would. I would love to know if anybody like hit that in their process of like coming in, like to join yeah. the Discord. Yeah, go ahead. I well no it, I because I I think I got a Discord invite before I yeah. got to the got to the site but when I when I was exploring the site whenever I was on there I did sort of pop it open just because it's super charming in a way yeah 
it may be um, a loss leader. Like, I think, yeah. it, I think it does like showcase that the thing is social. Um, yeah, I don't know. Then I, I guess then maybe an, as an alternative, if we do decide to keep it, maybe more tightly integrating it. So like maybe somewhere in the background that's not kind of intrusive having uh, little chat bubbles as if there's like a chat overlaid on top of the whole screen. Um, so you can kind of see like people's little chat bubble come in and then fade out over time or something. Um, yeah, I think an earlier vision was to have it in one of the, I don't know if this is the right term, but the gutters like on the side. Yeah. So yeah. It wasn't an overlay, but it was too much of a lift at the time. Technically, we're just like, we'll just do this for now. So, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. So, I also, hold on. I have a comp of that somewhere. I also think part of it is this. I don't know what the term would be, but if it's vision is enough, but this product where you could be working in a tile editor and you can see the canvas and you got the chat there. So, it's like a futuristic kind of it would be cool to have like this integrated app operating system where you get to do all the things, but it's not, the utility is not right there quite yet. Yeah. Yeah. We had a mock-up where it was just out here, like in the Netherlands and we could put all kinds of stuff in here, but getting this thing performant and <laughs> adding more. Yeah is bang stuff in there i mean yeah. there's probably a better way to structure it than the like quick and dirty way i was doing yeah i mean for follow-on canvases i'm my hope is to spend a little bit of time on sort of the infrastructure for an infrastructure piece to make those things a little bit more performant so we can continue to add to things yeah buy us some okay. breathing room nice I, for one, would like to work around that instead of my, well, the prototyping stuff is, it's charming in its way. <laughs> Let's call it that. It's nicer to know the thing is not going to fall apart and that you can just add a button. Instead of rebuilding every button from scratch every time, like I'm doing right now again. I have it open now, and so I mean, just scrolling back through, so it it does say like there are zero coins at the moment, and so there is sort of info there, but that depends, of course, on what's going on in that specific channel. But can you get from here to the? Does it link to the Discord? Um, or is it really you... just this overlay? The 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 pop up. Yeah. Yeah, so the, the funnel that we had here and how most people came into the Discord wasn't from a direct link. It was when you have your wallet connected, this button becomes active and you can join the Discord from there. It also shows up down here. Those are the two Discord flows we have. Yeah, okay, that's, I guess it's not showing up because I don't have my wallet connected. I mean, yeah. Yeah. It also, we didn't test this thing on iPad. So, I mean, it's kind of sort of tested, but it could be I, that the thing is not rendering properly or something. I'm just being difficult. Keep it up. Someone has to. Okay. Um, do, do, do. What else do we need to do here? So canvas. Canvas has been done. Do the menu. Uh -oh. What is this? Random okay. menu components now if this looks wrong like i'm not a figma expert i don't know if this is bad but what i my idea is you can just easily componentize the buttons that are here and then what i like to do is create like a little library of 
componentized buttons so you could just pull from there. I don't know if that makes sense. Yeah, there's ways to make them so that you can, there's like a base and then you can change the colors and do all this other stuff so you can keep that library like minimized, but whatever. There's also ways to build the buttons so that they scale with text and stuff. Hmm. Um, so the simplest version is the one that you're describing. I just haven't had to manage a big design system in this thing yet. So if I start with the simple system, does that allow someone to come in later to upgrade it? Or am I creating more work down the line? I don't know Far if anyone long. here is yeah, a, a Figma expert. Um, I've never been on a project organized enough <laughs> to know. Yeah. <laughs> I like the idea of a library. I guess it's pretty easy to do right now. Like. So I'll yeah. do it and then we'll learn if someone's like, hey, this is, I'm just redoing all of your work later. <laughs> That's the, the best way to get an internet response is to do it the way, or to, it the to wrong like, way? An answer it. Yeah, <laughs> wrong. <laughs> Somebody will come through and be like, <laughs> yeah, uh, I think it makes sense. I guess it's not wrong. It's just, yeah, depends on where you are with the craft and the tool. Some people yeah. will come in and be like, well, they, did you know? And you're like, no, I had no idea that was possible. <laughs> also, there's probably a decent amount of space here for people's like preferences and patterns they've seen or used for like yeah. five years at a company before, um, which, yeah, again, isn't right or wrong. It's just like people's preferences. How oh, weird. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to log out of Figma because I just feel like I'm sort of touching hot stuff that is moving all over the place. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's fine. The little, can't bell, really... hmm? the little bell notifications or transactions, what is that one? Activity. Activity. Or transactions, I mean, it's... Good enough. Yeah, I don't know how enjoyable this is to hang out with. Um, what was they doing? Uh, we'll get Twitter bird. Hmm? Like the, it's like the main. Surfaces of exquisite land sort of mocked up in here. That's the idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then how does this so like how would we how are we gonna tie this into the community event? I need a refresher on that. Um good question. So I mean, so all of this is potentially skinnable and like, like we can change the graphics. We can, if we have them in Figma, we can like start working from them potentially. 
Like these are the surfaces that we know exist. Um, and so like, where can we take this knowing that it's like the way it is? You know, I don't know. Like do, you know, we go to the canvas and we want to add something here. Like, okay, what it, we can just add something here, you know? Um, does that okay, make sense? Okay, so we're going to, you're going to drive for the community session for now and sort of, yeah, we're going to have like a stage, which is effectively the people right now, whoever can show up on Friday um, yep. to sort of be brainstorming, like, let's try and we'll have like, we'll get the pixel editor up. Like, let's try a different palette. What would that palette be? Like, how do we think about that? And then we can talk yeah. about it and then you can mock in like, okay, so it would be these colors uh, and we can, so this is where, what I was envisioning is there's some go between the people in the audience, like participant audience, because um, mm -hmm. people will have opinions on this. And yeah. I, I'm going to go brush up on how the stage feature works with Discord, but I believe we can pull people up on the stage if someone wants to like come talk about it, or we can just pick up on text, like if people are leaving like little notes like hey can we try this and we can text back to them or talk to them like i don't know there's some interaction with folks in the audience then sure you could if people don't or can't or don't want to chat you can still sort of just or don't want to speak you can still respond yeah. uh spoken right yeah that's, I think that's so. pretty good yeah that's that's pretty sort of normal that so you can you could even set up like a voice chat channel uh, specifically for stage i think um, that's what we were envisioning. Cool. Yeah, that makes yeah sense. I also wanted to say that that's kind of the perfect um, format, I think, because from my experience in other servers, a lot of people are not super comfortable chatting over voice, yeah. but yeah. the voice dedicated text channel is super popping off, you know, with like ideas mm. and stuff. And especially if we're talking like color palettes, uh, a lot of people might want to share like screenshots of you know the palette yeah. they like or something. So I feel like <clears throat> that text channel is gonna be super crucial, actually. Yeah, cool. Yeah, my hope is to get this thing enough so that I don't have to be doing this, and I can just sort of hop around and play too. Um, that's the goal for these screens, anyway. Yeah, so that your most of the legwork is done, and you can kind of ex express what people are feeling into. Yeah, or you know, add into it. Like I can just sort of hold the space. Like let's move on yep. to this. Let's move here. Yep. Let's move there, and then there are plenty of people. Like, and if we have a palette or something like that, just pop over to palette site or like mock it in really quick. Or if somebody else wants to do that, I don't know. I yeah. Mean, yeah. Yeah. I'd no, rather be cool. talking about what works rather than than like trying to make UI on the fly because I'm not yeah I'm not that fast. You're good at approximating things though enough for the purposes of holding the the shape yeah. of the the UI and at least in my experience. Yeah, I mean, if other people are around who want to sketch, hold the better. Yep, yep, that's right because people will also be in the Figma. Cool. Have the coin, coin drop flow. Mm, all right, so we're going to build these flows. Um, coin drop. How does this work? Your mind starts melting. I know. Are you just going back and forth between the pages, too? Yeah, I mean, I did so much work in the actual browser that. I've got a bunch of screenshots. Do you want me to look like you've got this list over on the left here? Um, yeah, you have those ready to mock out and then we can just fill in graphics if we need to that are like I'll part of this pull. is, yeah, go ahead. I'll just, I can pull in what I have that I think might be useful and then see like you can pull from it then. Sure. I don't know if that works or should I? Mm, or I can actually go to, no, I wouldn't be able to access the editor right now, I guess. Page five, is that like for it's, world five? 
page five for world five. Canvas two. <laughs> Maybe this should be world five. Page five was one of my mistakes. Oh, okay. <laughs> Which okay, so is this official? Is it uh, World Five confirmed or not? There. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's semi official now. I was kind of hoping that it would actually, you know, be in the fifth box, and you you would actually like surprise people with the two to four being like still disabled. But yes. I'm starting to think that's a little too, you know, unfriendly. I don't know. It would be I funny, same, I guess. I had the same vision as you, that it would be <laughs> two through four are blank and we just skip to World 5, which is Land 5. Or it would, Canvas it would be super 2. Funny. It would be also funny if Canvas 2 was called World 5. I mean, you could do that. Absolutely, we, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we, either way. There's, so, yeah, there's... You could even, like, put Land 05 on top of that, too, just to confuse people further. There's a lot of options here to be stupid. Yeah, this is what I think we should go through. Like, it should make us laugh. It should also be somewhat accessible. <laughs> we can change this whole Great. menu around and stuff too. Um, but I don't know. I like the World 5 thing. Like, like, why did it happen this way? And then people can ask, why did it happen this way? And then we can come up with reasons why it happened this way. <laughs> well, like, it's I, also... I have a whole lore for, for World 5, actually. It's yeah, really it's part of the lore, which yeah. we're ready to go. Into soon too. Because it was born like out of frustration of not mm. being able to create anymore. And then you have to kind of create a world of your own, you know, like a little respite. Or like hide out in World Five. See, so makes sense. So it's it's kind of it it can write itself through that intro, I guess. I mean, it's already writing itself. Yeah. My uh, I fully support this. Whatever graphical or interface needs we need, World Five it. Okay. This is not how this looks anymore. I know, that's what I'm afraid of. What Whatever. about this one? Rebuild it. We can rebuild this. Also, the slash util slash draw, draw page might be helpful for grabbing. Oh, yeah. Okay, put this down here, put this over here. The color of this thing now. Do we still have a dev site for Exquisite Land? Remember when we it was it was someone running it on a local machine and the, I don't know how that was working. Yeah, I've got that up right now. Okay. What do you need? No, well, I'm just like if there's a way to source the most recent state of these things. I mean, if I can help with any of that screenshotting, I don't mind. Just let me know. Fine for now. Um, mostly, it's the like coin drop flows and all that stuff. Um, I dropped in what I have. I don't have obviously like an SVG file of them, but yeah, fine. Frog never made it there. Those are all like that. Uh, I'm not going to rebuild that. Mm, crap. Maybe I will. Since we're going to be hitting it. I just got the little sidebar palette pulled in through uh, like the actual SVG shapes. If that's helpful, but it looks like we also grabbed it, so it should be fine. Uh, I, no, I actually put it in the World Five page uh, to the right of Kristen's screenshots. Right there. Okay. Oh, it's an SVG. Yep, those are all independent shapes. I know I grouped them. Perfecto. This plugin gets some things decently right, and some things atrocious. 
I mean, handy. <laughs> Go away. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. I hate this. Okay. Just click all of them. Oh, that's fair. Too big. Better mobile version. What font are we using in here? Um, for what? Just if I wanted to put text in the component library, like this is on Canvas view. Um, VT three two three. Okay. That's and what's then coming jaunt up. Jaunt is the other. So you can just copy some text from somewhere where it's. Yeah, it's coming up. It's pulling up right automatically. Okay. Thank you. You got it. Print button. Those little blorps on the right uh, minimap are bringing back some great memories. Mm-hmm. Good times, good times. That was a fun canvas. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. Simpler times, you know? <laughs> Less pressure. Everybody <laughs> wasn't trying to tear each other to pieces. <laughs> Does the mint still have a... <laughs> Thing that looks like a marijuana leaf, like is that? It's part not of a it? marijuana leaf. It's a world. It's it's a world <laughs> five fern. See, <laughs> yes. I also stole it from wherever this is. Uh, which one did I use? It's a lot of uh, borrowed graphics. I feel like I'm speed running the design on this. <laughs> it's yeah. weird. Toolbar. Mimped. Mm-hmm. Okay, we got pinned. Cancel clear. <laughs> Like these could all do with being components, but here we are. Okay, so the point forward thing, this guy up here, that's fine. Do that from here. Yeah. 
So the point is essentially setting the stage for the, the public call, right? Yeah. Yeah. So again, it's like game masters. Yeah. Basically. But yeah, I mean, just having our primitives that we can work from and then the general idea is that we can this is where it's at, let's hack it to pieces or not hack it to pieces or like generally uh, people can know like what's up for grabs. Like, like for instance, all these graphics, we can change all of this for a second canvas, assuming that, that like, so say, you know, we go to world five in this menu, like can the canvas, like at least the, the, the palette will change. Right. And then potentially the like, bounds of the canvas will change this mm -hmm. copy will change or whatever so like we could also change the like have a coin flow like all these graphics if we got this into like a little design system i mean there's no reason that we couldn't do different colors different fonts different all of that stuff that's all dependent on obviously how much we want to componentize everything and clean it all up um but Generally, it's not a huge deal to do that stuff. That said, I'm not building it, so <laughs> easy for me to say. Yeah, it'd be super perfect if, like, you could drop the coin into just a Mario pipe or something. But yeah. again, I'm adding probably hours or days of work to somebody. So, <laughs> yeah, I think we can talk about that though. Like, I think at least you know, like, we could. I mean, I don't know, the space hole or one of the pipes or whatever it is. Like, this could be a hit zone. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. This is the stuff we should talk about. Like, if it's if it's clever and easy to do, great. We should do yep. it. I, yeah, right. also note on the pipes is, again, that you're sort of getting into that um, other people's property yeah. territory. IP. Um, yeah. Well, we call it a, a video game plumbing tubes. Yeah. <laughs> I actually wonder how much IP claim Nintendo has on it because, like, there's millions of games, I guess, with green pipes at this point. As long as it's not one to one, you're probably fine. I don't know. But, like, I mean, or you can even make it non green. That's another layer of, like, Distance in from it, yeah. So, three per three percent difference, kind of thing. Yeah. I like. I personally doubt that that's like a big Nintendo IP thing. It's not yeah. a character, right? But um, and I've seen it so much, in like so many games. Right? Yeah. But if we want to be super duper safe, then of course <clears throat> we could not do it. Yeah, I mean, I also mean it. I don't mean. I doubt they're going to come after this project anyway, right? But I mm. mean it more as a sort of um, you're setting a sort of stage for a, maybe again um, going heavy in on sort of references mm. and and um, homages. Oh, yeah, that's a good to... point. Um, like, I would definitely would not like people to think, okay, this is like a Mario themed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. because it's kind of even boring you know it's kind of low-hanging fruit almost yeah because um, we can just start all replicated mario and stuff and that's fine like but i, I don't think that uh, even a good collaborative fan art canvas is the best use of the land yeah. you know like i like the chaos much more than something that's structured so for that reason maybe yes maybe just the name World 5 and like is enough, you know, to, it's kind of an end joke. If you know about the warp zones, you know about them. If not, no big deal. It's just funny. It's, it's a funny yeah. bit, right? Um, exactly. That's a good point. Because the less, I guess, the less we guide people theme wise, the better. And on the other hand, the more we guide them technically, it's also better, I think. So we should guide it with like the tools and the constraints versus themes, in my opinion. Agreed. I feel like you have a good handle on how this thing works. At least I, I tend to agree with all of that. 
<laughs> every time you've been talking about it. So that's nice. Mm. I'm just like uh, I'm. I'm just uh, more or less um, actually leaning on looking at how people have used explicit language. Because you know, it seems like the less you tell people what to do, they can come up with something that will surprise everybody, including themselves. Right? If if you just yep. say, okay, this is a Mario themed level, or this is a Halloween, or you know, whatever a zombie level, it's going to mm. be kind of intrinsically less interesting i guess because well everybody's yeah. going to be drawing what you tell tell them to yeah um, hmm. but yeah. to the other point uh the reason that i like constraints so much is that you know technical constraints can kind of dictate ideas you wouldn't even think of otherwise you know it's like for some reason this palette or you know this canvas size will make you think of something that you wouldn't, you know. Yeah, I mean, like the black and white version, or like a limited mm -hmm. color palette, or whatever. Like you'll get a bunch of people who can. I mean, even with sixteen colors, I'm like, oh, how the hell do you do that? <laughs> like, yeah, I mean, you, absolutely. You, it's it's wild. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's basically just coming up with elegant constraints that like are fun to goof with. Mm -hmm. Better we do that. Where did I? Sorry. I'm, I can't find my Discord panel. Maybe I just built it in HTML? Probably. Yeah. Are the coins for the next land a different color? So you can also sort of identify them, I guess, mm -hmm. in your photo folder. What's that? Are, are the coins of the next land or like does each land have their own coin and then they become sort of a keepsake in their own right because then it's like you go through your photo folder where you downloaded it mm. and um, you can see ah, oh, this was the time I drew land 5 yeah so can't, you broke up there for me anyway could you say that again I don't know how much I broke up. Uh, Are the coins different for each canvas? I think is what you're asking. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, yeah, yeah. and then because then so because they become at least in my case, I have them on my mobile devices, so they just in my photo stream, and then yeah, there yeah. is if it were a different color. Oh uh, yeah. It becomes a keepsake or, or a memory almost. Yeah, we'll bring that a coin. That's what I forgot to put in here. No, well, good. That's so interesting because I actually discarded all of them immediately. <laughs> like I never thought of them that way, you know. So yeah, I did the same so thing. Cool. Well, let's see I actually thing. forgot. Do they even like have a the the map name on the coin or not? Uh, no, we didn't do that. Here's the blank. Here's the blank that, coin. That's the least I guess you can do is at least um, put yeah. the map name on them. But of course, as we did, as we did with the um, um, Garblin coins, we can also make some slight adjustments or something to them. But I'm, I'm, I'm worrying think... about like diluting uh, it too much because, okay, you have the Garblin coin, it has to be different, right? So if you mm. just have a gold coin, you don't have a ton of um, variation to go off of, you know, like in terms of coin design. Uh, so that's maybe more of a design challenge than anything, I guess. Yeah, what I was thinking about potentially with that is, so when I was drawing all these things, like really sloppy, um, we have these basic states, right? And this thing I just drew like an arcade machine, but there's nothing to say that this can't be like take a ticket or like, I don't know, like we can compose whatever we want. It's whether or not that complexity is like too much added stuff to maintain, but I don't know. If the devs think it's interesting, then... Because, like, these graphics can swap out, and then the coin graphic can be, like, for instance, this thing could take tickets, and then for World 5, you get tickets, or you give it space holes with QR codes on it. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I see all that stuff is composable, but yeah. does that make sense in the broader universe, right? Like, don't know. For me, the ideal solution would be to, I guess, keep the coin design in mm -hmm. general as it is, but um you know change 
definitely change some sort of marking to indicate that this is for world five almost like if you would stamp a different coin if that makes sense mm -hmm. uh, but in the same mold so if we could kind of do that i feel like that could be good sure and it would definitely not break much right you still have the, a round coin it's kind of the same format but it's going to be identifiable too yeah i mean the less we have to change the sooner we get into playing mm -hmm. the game this is just me trying to uh see other versions of the artwork <laughs> I'm like i want to know what other people want to do uh are you still screen sharing? Yeah, I, I don't have uh, the stream either. I was about to ask. What? Yeah, what? like it did something. When you weird said when you mind. said uh, that you know the voice chat broke up for you, that's when the stream stopped. I think mm. it froze. Yeah, Just, it, it dumped yeah, it's me working out. out. Yeah, I have I have one more coin thought. Um, how? They're they're kind of they're they're in a way also maybe like a branding thing on so on a social level in the sense that if people share them around on Twitter that the people will recognize this specific gold coin now and know yeah. what it's about. Um, and is that something to play with? Where the Gorblin was sort of clearly uh, a variant on that design with sort of another layer of storytelling on top of it in a sense. Um, because you want people to go like, ooh, exquisite land, whenever a coin comes up. And yeah. then do you also want them to go, but it's slightly different from what I've known, what, I've seen, what I know or what I've seen before. Yeah. I think definitely we want to, like, the general shape here. I mean, it, this doesn't have to say play it forward. They can say the canvas. We can ditch these guys. There's a bunch of stuff we can do. I mean... QR code, I think we just leave the same, mostly because it's work on CJ's part to get that working a different way. But any of this stuff, text, anything around, anything is up for grabs here outside of this. Wait, so, uh, wait, just to jump in, I yeah, I just came by. Um, that thing probably can be changed within some limits, but it's relatively flexible, probably. So what CJ says. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, it, it's pretty simple in its current implementation. So it, there's like lots of room to grow or change in that. Sweet. Yeah. So, I mean, this is the thing. Like if, if there are easy wins on that and then we can get like a different graphic out of it that like, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm game to, to make whatever there. And I don't mind like restyling the thing if it's not going to add weeks of work or anything. But. Yeah. All right. Yeah, it's too probably, easy. it's probably not, not, not too much to ask. Um, it's still like in terms of a coin, um, the most kind of real estate, the, the most important real estate is taken up by the QR code in our case, where, you yeah. know, some fancy graphic would go. So we are still, like limited to the edges, more or less. Um, so with that said, it's not going to be like a drastic look. It's going to be different, but it's not going to be like a very much like to some people, it might not be too distinguishable is what I'm saying. That's fine. I mean, yeah, I mean, we could also do like, did I mock that up somewhere? No. Yeah. I really like the idea of a ticket machine. I don't know when that shows up. I don't know what it is. Or a credit card. Maybe we do that on some mm -hmm. canvas instead of coins. That would be super cool. Yeah. They're like if you could do a swipe mechanic, that would be amazing actually. I mean, mm -hmm. we can figure out something for that. Like it's a front end gimmick and effectively mm -hmm. it's just still just dropping an image. Um yep. even if it's like in the Yeah, the coin drop. This thing is just like a swipe, and then you drop the image or like select an image like this, and uh, it animates in some way. Exactly. Like, through, and then the thing, like, and there's a fair, I mean, we have like at least a handful of animators now, like hanging around. I know that Diego mm -hmm. dude wanted to play, and like he's 
he's like a crazy pixel animator. So like he's doing all kinds of crazy graphics. So little things where they matter might be fun to, to like this thing could be glowing. There's like, I don't know. There's a lot we can do. I think those are easy wins because they're just graphics and like mm -hmm. the, the structure for the thing is already in there. We just need a, a system for managing the graphics based on like navigating the app. So yeah, we go here, you select land two or land five or whatever. It swaps out some basic graphics here. This thing changes. Don't know. I think that's possible. What the hell was I doing? <laughs> it's, it's hard to um, do this and also and talk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah think. I can imagine. Um, I had an, another thought. Is uh, how much is um, does this already start prompting people how how you interact with these things and how they look? Like if if I hear credit card and sort of a different kind of console, mm -hmm. I immediately think in like cyberpunk world. Whereas mm -hmm. if it's more like a, yeah, a brown cloth bag that you put a, a chunk of gold in. You go into sort of dungeon land or whatever. So yeah. there's there's these game prompts that start at this point already. Definitely, I agree 100. Like it's something like a game card, an ID card. This is super futuristic. Yeah. Um, you know, prompt. Uh, actually, it's gonna give me an idea that for World Five, if this is like. There's the pipe lore. We can make it slightly aged, you know, like a penny mm. that's been in the pocket for a while, but not to the point where it's like a growing coin. Like so, yeah, yeah, yeah. You could la add like a subtle, you know, darkened texture to it. Besides, obviously, the text, the new text. It would be interesting, I guess, because it would it would be pretty recognizable, but it would still be a gold coin. So, might be worth thinking about it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it can also somehow tie into the palettes that we're doing too. So if we do a cyberpunky kind of thing or or whatever it is, there's maybe more neon. So okay. like the whole art direction sort of sticks together. Like whatever your your coin or your card or your ticket or your token or whatever yeah. that you bring is bringing you into this level, right? And this level, it has like, it, like the minimum amount of like primitives to play with to produce like an interesting result, but we're not like beating you over the head with the like, uh, I don't know. It's like a, I see this stuff as like kind of like, uh, like eighties and nineties video game box design. Like that's what we're doing with the console, right? Like this is what you kind of feel, but it's going to be like a bunch of pixel nonsense inside. It actually makes perfect sense because like the palette itself, if, if we actually, tie the coin to the world's you know color palette mm -hmm. um it's it might look drastically different just because of the colors you know you can have different yellows in there or something and totally. it's gonna look different um and of course if there's like a world with some wild actually black and white only palette then the coin still translates into just the one bit uh, you know black and white too so it yep. might just be the solution to this whole question you know yeah, I think it, yeah, so like whatever the coin graphics is definitely ties into the palette. I mean, we're going to literally, we were literally doing this with the coins anyway. Like mm -hmm. the palette is being expressed on the coin. Like we're using those colors as the QR code. The colors are I different think, on each uh, coin, right? I think that with the goblins, I mean, yeah. token takes some liberties, you know, some liberties <laughs> with those colors, but, um, I'm not sure that I pulled them from the palette, but yeah, they oh, okay. definitely. Well, the the actual like QR code did so, but this yeah. is I think that's fine. I mean, I like mm -hmm. this weird slime green. <laughs> <laughs> gives us a place to go with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I mean, I was like, I did kind of keep to the color palette within these graphics and stuff. Um, like, there's even like a nod to it here, like, but. Whatever. <laughs> I saw that. I recognize that. It's close enough. Well, I'm glad you'd notice, Samuel, because <laughs> <laughs> somebody should. Is, is there? Hmm. Go ahead. 
because um, there's been talk of having several lands open at the same time in the future. Um, the coin could also come in play there, right? That depend. You don't know which land you're going to until you put your coin in, and then that only works with either one of the open canvases. Yeah, that makes sense too. Like, so if this menu is just the top level, so right now we have this like hooked up to Tiramisu. So like your Discord is connected to your land, um, and then if that's the case, then the have a coin thing could be connected to the land canvas or whatever. And then if you switch it over here, then these things switch as well. They're contextual to whatever the canvas is. And in that case, yeah. Hmm. Do you need to match up the coin or the, the card or something like that with the, with the land that you want to play on, which yeah. The, the ease of use case is we have one coin system and all coins take you to the land that you can play in. So I think we just have to sort of pro and con the, like, yeah, the, the gameplay there. I think what I meant was the other way around. So you have one coin system, yeah. but you might, you might have two different coins and you don't know which land the coin, your, the coin you have is going to take you to. Yeah. But it yeah, doesn't I'm, mean... Yeah, I don't know what that means with sort of having uh, the active land open, etc. And maybe this is sort of something for down the line because we're talking about multiple lands active at the same time. Or at least that's what I mean. So, Yeah, I think um, we run into this one pretty soon. Um, like, because we're talking about like having, like, I do like the idea conceptually, um, graphically of having like a, a coin system per land. Um <laughs> though we should talk that out complexity wise and and like you know like are are is it getting too bespoke per land or whatever it is um i don't necessarily think so but it does it does provide it, that doesn't mean that like you switch out these coin machines or how they operate on a per like per land basis they still could take all the coins and redirect you like there, there's no reason that that's not the case. Like, say, for instance, you you come here, you land on exquisite land, um, you click have a coin, you have, like, a credit card, and you drop it on here, then this thing could just animate or flip into the, the World 5, like, graphic thing, and then take you through that flow and then drop you in World 5. Like, there's a bunch of things we can do with this. Um, actually, I wanted to mention that I'm not sure like this scenario is super viable. Like, I think mm -hmm. what Samuel is describing is that like you have two coins, either of which could be active, but in reality, only one world is active at the moment. Is that right? Mm -hmm. So uh, there's only most likely you're just gonna have like a coin or you know whatever token for the land that's currently being developed at hand. And then from that kind of situation, it might be logical that when you just click, you know, they have a coin thing, it would take you to yeah. that current lens, uh, you know, receptacle, whatever it is, the card thing or the coin thing, uh, regardless of which land you're currently on, because you don't really need the legacy coin receptacles if like you're not revisiting those lands. But of course, Maybe I'm misunderstanding something and there is a scenario where, you know, the lens are being re revisited or is it like to, to Galaxy Brain for now? <laughs> uh, how I understand this is we had talked about before potentially running multiple lands at the same time. Mm. So like maybe we're doing an artist collab or something like this, or we've got, you know, a black, we've got land noir and, you know, uh, world five and they're running at the same time I, we may be a ways away from this mm -hmm. so it's probably not a problem with this one because we're not going to run two lands right now mm -hmm. <laughs> we're just trying to get the second one out the gate uh right yeah so this one may be we can kick it down the road and just make it work for this time and then we have we have two lands to work with and we can mm -hmm. sort of find a system from that um but yeah i mean for something like that you could probably if you know that you're not going to have more than concurrently more than two or three lands. Yeah. 
you could just have two or three buttons easily in the top spot, I guess. It would specifically say, uh, you know, if you have a coin for this land, click here. If you have a yeah. you know, coin for the other special collab land, whatever, click here. That would be, you could color code them. Specifically yeah. For that. Yeah, we could After do like, like a different DC. Yeah, it, like on this page, we could do a menu too. Mm -hmm. Like it yep. could be little graphics of the type. So you have a, you know, gold coin mm -hmm. card, whatever, like mm -hmm. here. And then, you know, yes. we can get them there. Plus, it's a fun, it's a stupid menu. I always like making stupid menus like this thing. Yeah. I want, I want to make more. It's, it's a good menus. question, though, because it's like, is it worth like super future proofing us by just yeah. using coins forever? Or like, is it fine to open up new? new formats for this yeah i think this is this is where like bringing in cj and 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 like frolic and, and and sort of uh whoever dev wise wants to talk about the architecture of what we're building um so that we're we're on the same page with the like complexity that we want to tackle with each of these um you know seeing what's possible i guess basically All right. What Could you? <laughs> Here I come again with another question. <laughs> um, for it. Tech wise, could you have just that one coin machine and then it knowing based on which coin gets dropped in where to go? Yeah. I mean, because then that becomes sort of the filter or the funnel or the hopper or. Um, yeah, from from the technical side, the coin can have any arbitrary amount of data that we can like sort of key off of. So it, there's a pretty wide spectrum between like how automatic it, it is and like how much I think fun sort of pipeline uh, stuff there exists for the user. I'm just thinking about say someone finds a coin on Twitter, they don't know that much about it. They they use it and then they end up in a land basically, which is now the, the which is is the funnel now. Yeah. Um, but this is again that scenario if there's multiple lands open, like could that same that exact same interaction just bring them to a random other? It's it's sort of you go to space land or you go to dungeon land, kind of. Yeah. But it's a surprise. Heaven or hell. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I wouldn't call those two, but that <laughs> you never know. Uh, I mean, so the the case here that that's interesting long term is we develop each of these lands. They have like certain types of uh, like it's a yeah. It, they they each one has a palette. It has a type of gameplay or whatever. They exist as a system together. If there is the possibility of replay like at the end of the season, that would be great, right? So that anybody can come in and play, um, not just the the people that we've selected. But <laughs> we're just trying to get the second one done. That's where I'm at. <laughs> It'd be great if all that happened. But for now, can we do another one? And is it still as much fun? And can we like sort of reinvent ourselves a little bit every time? And then if there's like still standing energy and the code base is clean enough because we're like, we're building it so that that it's uh, accessible to a lot of people. Then the the likelihood that we can take something down the road and like repackage it for for like further use or whatever it is, that'd be nice. But I don't know. I think I think uh, try to keep it to the the uh, or I've been trying to keep it not too many steps out. But exploring this stuff and then bringing it back is not a bad idea. I don't know if that answered anything, or I'm just Definitely. rambling. It makes sense. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. Let's see. This is a lot easier to do when you have people to talk to. Well, I don't know that that's true about the actual work, but hanging out in the thing is easier to do. All right. Mm 
Another thing we did in the browser. I'm not rebuilding this. Let's be up. Kristen building the component library. Yeah. Good work. I'm sure it's would make some people cringe, but <laughs> I don't even use component library, so you can cringe about that. I don't really know if I understand what a component is in terms of Figma. So, like, what does it afford you in the system when you componentize something? Um, so, like, like I was Figma saying before, system. yeah, like, so say, for instance, generate coin. Sure. This can, that, that can be a button. And then you take this thing over here, and it's a component. And then you can have this. You just need to make one. So regenerate. Pretend I spelled that right. Coin. And like this is inheriting all of the styles of this thing. So here, let's see. Let's see if I can do this. It's a group. Yeah, group. Um, all right, so the components are in group. So you do constraints. Yes, that. Oh, there's like an auto align thing. I never fucked with this. Um, there's the. There seems to be a lot of them in here. Attaching Just this. keeps it centered. Yeah, so you can, there's a thing called auto layout. Um, so then the button wouldn't be called generate coin button. See. It would be called like yellow button. Yeah, or just button because you can change all the variables within the thing. So there's this auto layout thing. Um, there's a bunch of crap it does. Padding around the items, alignment. You can center it. So all things, buttons so. are the same then? Are the blue buttons the same as the yellow buttons? Yeah, then then if you build your buttons right, you can like scale them and change their color and type and do all kinds of stuff. And so if you need to change your buttons everywhere throughout the whole of the Figma document, you just change the master button. In the component library. Okay. Yeah. All right. So what I'm going to do then is 
but I don't know how all that works. So as you just saw, I I haven't had to build systems like this. Um, Hmm. Okay. I need to get through this stuff or else I'm going to be here every all day forever. Um, Need these. See that. Don't need. Don't even know what these are. This is a mint process. Harbon is a good character. You ain't wrong. I like when you got legs and you got little boots. Nap time to live. There you go. Let's see how that looks anymore. Tile. This is what happens. I run out of steam doing this stuff. I'm not a good completionist. Why do you think that is? Get bored. I already know how it all works. Mm -hmm. There's like maybe an 80-20 here. Yeah. I think these get at the really at the core of it. Yeah. Um, the overall view, the way be, to navigate between the canvases and the editor. I guess the editor also includes the palette, which is nice. Yep. Um, you know the coin stuff to, to the bottom. Maybe just scoop those into a section of their own. I think this at least gives us like a pretty solid starting place. I think so. Yeah, then we can build this stuff on the fly as we go. Um, okay, so this is all the coin stuff. Turn to this. Oh, this is from. Got it. Nope. Don't understand what that feature is. And what does this do? Okay. Just grab a red dot and then move it. I don't understand. 
All right, well, Discord modal, corner generation, editor, and inflow, view tile. View tile's easy enough. Get a good tile. Okay. I left a disclaimer in my library. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's okay. a first. It's a first take. And someone more proficient in Figma can come clean it up. <laughs> I wonder if that'll ever happen. It might not be necessary, but I don't know. Yeah. There. I mean, I'm the kind of person, if I knew how to do this, I would just go do it right now. Like, I like doing it, but I don't. Yeah. I don't have the Dark. mental model quite yet because what you're saying makes sense, but I don't think I, I would create a component for each type of button yeah. because if, like you said, like if I wanted to change the regenerate coin button, I want it to happen everywhere, but like that I might base the regenerate coin button, which is what I did based on the generate coin button, which is based on the have a coin button. So they're all, of a type but because they yeah. say something different and are different sizes i think they're independent components um yeah but they're, i don't know they're, they're instances of components yeah that's how the system works so cool. i mean it's similar to like react and stuff which is what like my i just <laughs> i just don't but, think in so, systems so like that anyway um which is what we need to do with the the interface as well to some degree yeah. so that like the button system actually there's there's not 15 different buttons on every page we just need the one with variables Go yeah so that's i'm curious about that like how do you abstract up a level so right now we've got one two six buttons they're all unique in some ways but they also share some properties so what is that abstraction for the shared properties so they're all button like how does the system in figma relate to how the system and code relates is it are they are they related or is it just two different systems i i mean so i'm sure it's some there is no perfect system is the answer to that question but like sure. generally depending on how big your design system needs to be like you have people in that system managing it to some yep. degree. Yep. And if they have to work with a lot of this, then they're going to build their own system so that they can quickly do it. Yep. Um, and that should have some corresponding like structure to how it's built. Like com the components yeah. are built in, in code. So the mental model isn't too much of a shift moving to back and forth. Yeah. So what you yeah. end up doing in React, there's a thing called Storybook. And storybook mm. is where you show all the components and the style of those components, and it has a relationship to code and stuff. Um, yeah. Cool. Okay. I think this is probably good enough. And if we need to go to these flows, we can talk about them. I mean, we did like a sort of dry run on probably what we're going to be doing with mm -hmm. the bigger event or whatever. Yep. And then if we need to, you can just sort of copy and paste these things and dink with them. I don't know that anybody will actually do that in real time, but it's easier now. So... Yeah, like we can come in here and write this stuff in here. And just with the group here. we had, the creativity was flowing. Like, yeah, I think a few more pull and us, I think it'll be it'll be great. Yeah. yeah, and then dev perspective, jumping in wherever possible <laughs> to yeah yep, to scope this stuff. Like when it's pretty easily. Um, I think that there is a, a tendency probably with the design folks or to, to not, or the people who have worked with devs before to not want to assign them work without being in the process of playing, you know? So 
you know, trying to warm that up a little bit. Like, what's possible here? What what can we do? Like, what is too much? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, what's realistic? Sure. Yeah, what what wants to be done here? Totally. Yeah. Really want to redraw all these. I guess we can get done. Yeah. Okay. So you're done for now, Dave? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, I've got a bunch to think about now. Like, so unpacking all the graphics and stuff. I just don't, I, yeah. I have a better understanding. Like, we could just, yes, I'm done for now. Okay. There's a bunch of stuff to unpack when we hang out. So if you guys have just a few more minutes, I'm going to ask if we can quickly do like a walkthrough of, because we have to create a stage. Mm -hmm. And like, what is that stage called? Where does it live? Like just some of the, I don't know, nuts and bolts of this thing. Totally. Sure. Um, I guess it's a public thing. I guess it would be in the public category. We could also open up an events category or call it something other than events, but it's like I did in relational creators like gatherings where there's events. announcements, there's the voice chat, and then there's the stage itself. John, I don't know if you were trying to say something. Oh uh, yeah, no, I think I was just getting some the major like. Um uh my my first instinct is that it would would be in land management. But I'm not sure. We wanted to do this one open. More public. Yeah, true. Yeah, true, this true. is community wide. Like we have the same there is a fractal of this though in land management. We wanted to do a similar thing. Mm-hmm. Then I guess there, yeah, there's the events channel already. I wonder if which is sort of like event announcements. Yeah. So we could move that into a new category that's event announcements, and then the voice chat, and then the stage. Like it's like three channels. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. I zoned out. I was going to say, did we lose you, Dave? <laughs> I'm coming out of design mode right now. Yeah, so I have to switch totally gears a little. Um, okay, yeah. so we're just trying to figure out where to put the yeah, stage. Let me, let me do this. I'll share my screen because I can just point out what I'm looking at. Um, that's fine. Okay. So. Can you see my screen? Mm -hmm. um, what we did in relational was we created a whole events category of channels called gatherings. So you've got announcements for upcoming events. You've got the voice chat. Um, I added the reflections in there and then the actual stage itself. And we wouldn't have a reflections, but we could do something similar in exquisite land, have a new category. That's event focused. I think that makes sense. Would the events channel somehow merge into that or stay? Yeah, I think you just pull it over. Yeah, just keep it sort of contained so it's like more of the uh, the live area of the server. Yeah, it's just anything that is synchronous is sort of in this world. Are you just mocking it up now, or? No, I'm gonna do it. Why do I always forget how to create a channel? Or try category? right clicking. Uh, yeah. I Where else can you do it? Yeah. I think if you right. just right click anywhere uh, on like below, yeah, right there. Yeah. It gives you the okay. options. All right. What do we want to call it? That's the thing. You can't really mock it up 
There's no like mm-hmm. private space. Yeah, yeah, you just do it. It's fine. Yeah. Um, um, theaters. I mean, stages. Stages. It's not really events. Sessions. Venue. Like in, in internet camera, it's called sessions, or I think it was. I see. Sessions. Yeah. Um, like and the other one, it's gatherings. It, what are mm. what do we call when we synchronize? Like, what is it called in an exquisite land world? Jams. Jams. I mean, that's been going around. Let's try it. Go from there. We'll try it. All the way at the bottom. Wait. Yeah, it was Bill Adams. Oh, there it is. A nice, tasty jam. I guess it goes mm-hmm. Jams and jams. Events would come into here. I guess I would call... Oh, there's a better name for announcements, but whatever. Um, create channels. So we are going to create a stage. Jam stage? Yeah. Just call it stage. Stage? Yeah, it's under the category. It's. Let's see what it looks like. I don't really have this mentally laid out in my head yet. How it all works yet? You guys have been doing a lot more of this. Stage moderators are speakers who can add and remove other speakers. They can also start the stage event. Stage moderators don't have to be mods. Yeah, stewards are in there, and we're already in there. Um, yep. What you can do. I'll fiddle with the emoji stuff. Um, and then the only other thing would be the call channel. Upcoming, maybe, or something. Yep. Maybe if you want to copy this titles off so you can use the emoji thing in the other one. Yeah, I think. This I don't know one... what the emoji there would be. I feel like I want to change this one to something else and then leave. Mm-hmm. Have this one be like the the big the big thing. Because we're going to the circus, right? Mm-hmm. Sure. Calendar, but calendar is a little specific. Yeah. That. You might just be able to make that upcoming. Just plain? Okay. And then, what do we call the text channel? The, 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 the stage text, text? Stage text, yeah. Stage chat. Stage chat stage feels. Chat. That's nice. I don't know if that makes sense. Perfect. For now. Cool. Feel like it should be below stage. That's just my yeah. instinct. Yep. That's why. good. Wait, what? Oh, bring the auto order stage channels to the bottom. That's probably yeah, why. Yeah, it does. Weird. <sighs> Discord. Discord has really weird, like, after that thing where we couldn't figure out how to get the Guardian. Mm-hmm. Thought, and like I realized that hierarchy was like a thing. Like I'm seeing it everywhere in the UI. Yeah. Like I'm just like, what the? Like, what a weird. Like it's very odd. But okay. So opinionated. Um. Well, okay. 
от стира е най-мото подскритива. Stage channel. Stage. What's the name of it? Uh, what was I calling it before? Finding World 5. <laughs> Exploring Canvas 2. I mean, Finding World 5, is that too, like, this is the conversation we were having earlier. Is it going to lose some people? Do we want to keep it more legible? That's the only. Mm. Finding World 5 is very fun, but yeah, I think I yeah. mean, just to make it as, as broad as possible. Okay. All right, so we'll keep that. And then, would we say 1 p.m. on Friday? I think. Maybe yeah, designing right. Canvas too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 1 p.m. Central. Cool. Designing? Yeah. Oh no. Yeah, exploring just has the connotation of like it already exists. Mm. Um, to me whereas yeah. designing is like more about what is what will it look like designing or like the finding makes sense like we're gonna go mm-hmm. find it mm-hmm. discovering like yeah finding but, maybe what's a good emoji i want like hiking i think that's fine actually yeah the art yeah, thing that's cute mm-hmm um january 14th that's the right date right yep One can. maybe a world five reference can go into the description like are we going to do this are we going to find world five come and find out yeah i know for yeah a design session to find design jam thank you join us for a design jam to find canvas too Will we travel to world five? What else? Wait, can we put an emoji in here? Oh, you can't do the custom ones though. Um, Are we gonna take the space hole? We'll get into Figma and work together to to figure out how to build Canvas 2. What Canvas 2 wants to be. Mm-hmm. Maybe a note that it's like a welcoming of everybody regardless of technical mm-hmm. designer or just like somebody who's played Yeah, are welcome regardless of how technical or design savvy you may be. All skills are welcome. All skills. Do we need all this? No. All skills are welcome. Anything else? Link to Figma before. Um, I know when I get a CF Figma link in an event, I always click it just because I'm like, ooh, it's in there. So, oh, this, this is. Dot com. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Um, buzzard media management. Do we have to change any of the... Looks like we're already well above the limit I assumed was there. So I think... I think yeah. I have a grandfathered account and I made this, maybe. Uh, nice. No, but... I'm the owner. That's not good, uh, I think. Never mind then. Hmm. Just copy the link, put it in there, and we can see where we go. I don't know. Yeah, I think it's We end up having to buy. Uh, what was here. the question? 
How much? Is, I feel like it's so expensive, but maybe just. You can have per seat as well. Um, yeah. But if this many people are in the file already, I don't think we're going to hit the limit. I think the limit is more about how many files you can have on a free yeah. account, not how many users per file. delete all of them, too, that I wasn't, or, like, remove them somehow. I can mm -hmm. go try to tidy that up. Okay. Join us for Design Jam to find Canvas 2. Will we travel to World 5? Are we going to take the space hole? We'll get into Figma and work together to figure out what Canvas 2 wants to be. All skills are welcome. Figma. I like it. Works for me. If Markdown is supported, maybe wrap the Figma link in the square brackets and then, or rather, it's, oh God, I always forget that. So square brackets is the name of the link and then the stuff in parentheses is the actual link. Like this? Yep. And then that could probably just be, yep. Because uh, it says Markdown supported, so I just don't know if that's inclusive URLs. I need to edit it after. Wait, we, we might be able to see. Oh, they hit it. <laughs> is that what it would look like? Figma access, which is Figma file? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that, that would just be the only text there. Uh, the preview might be truncating only in this view. It's possible we want to see the, um, the events yeah, tab. We can create the event and then edit it. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Mm hmm Oh, I feel attacked. Oh, uh, <sighs> nope. They don't. No. Good effort. I guess probably the markdown light, which is just like bolding and italics and stuff. Yeah. How's People are interested. Stage emoji is different on this view from the other view. <laughs> that is weird. All right, share, copy. Um, like, yeah, I was gonna say, what do people already find it? Like, that's crazy. Um, I found it. Should I add everyone? I mean, sure. I think so. We're very quiet with the everyone's. So I think yeah. we're fine with this. Yeah. This one is a yeah. <laughs> Unlike the couple Discord servers at the bottom left there <laughs> that are like piling up the, the red badges. Oh I so, I mean I'm all right. I'm closing. Oh, right. Hold on. Hold on. Um so we're at everyone's journal Hello. or in the in the server. Me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, so before you add everyone with this thing, sending this Figma out, like, <laughs> just making can, sure that we that can do the Figma can to all of this work <laughs> if somebody decides to fucking delete it or something. We can do. We can share the, the Figma file in person, like once people get there. I'm all right doing this. I just want a backup of it. Yeah, so I can, can duplicate it on my end for sure. I think if you do it. That might be easiest uh, from the all files view. Yeah. But Me? yeah, no, that's a good call. Uh, no, I'll do it. To... Although, yeah, if you're the owner, maybe that may just makes the most sense to keep it in the same same account. Like, so it has to be part of Buzzard? Do yeah. Have to be part of Buzzard? They had this restructure. Basically, all files need yeah. to be part of an org, and you can have, like I think, three drafts, but there's weird permission stuff with drafts. How does it work? Twelve dollars per editor. Okay, I got a copy. Everything's fine. Go nuts. Okay. <laughs> just, just I, I just had uh, uh, a flash of having to rebuild all of that, and it gave me a panic attack because we've got all yeah. kinds of weirdos hanging out. Very understandable. Let me see. Oh, I'll show me the whole thing. What happens? I'm like a new person. File, file window. Mm. 
That's nice. Oh. At least we'll get a, yeah. a name for people that are editing it. Yeah, you can't do anything unless you sign in. And then if we run into problems with editors, people that want to edit and it won't let them, then we can figure out on the fly what to do, I guess is what we're saying. Yeah, I mean, the, the path there would be to regenerate the invite link and then just hand that out over DMs, I think. Well, what I'm wondering is like if Figma tries to block more editors joining, but I don't know. Oh, yeah. Uh, I've been in Figmas with like a lot of people. So I've, well, I mean, only because I'm supposed to, like, I got some message earlier, like, that I've run out of whatever, and I'm like, whatever. Well, if you go back to your uh, main tab, on the yeah. right there, you see th one of one project, yeah. three of three uh, Figma design files. So I think you're at that limit, but I don't got think it. you're going to hit the, the user limit. Okay. We'll find out the hard way. Are they team library? What is that? What? Oh, those little sneaky bastards. They give you one file that they give you. Mm. That they name buzzard because it's buzzard team. And that counts as one of them. I don't need that. Look, two out of three. Lame. Suckers, I'm gonna try to play their game as long as I can to get something free. <laughs> hack, hack the yeah. system. Okay. Once again, I'm going to copy a new link because sometimes those links break. I don't know why. Oh my gosh. Yes. And you have to do two X's to get out. Okay, so at everyone. What did I have? I had something somewhat decent. Um something... Design Jam join us for Design Jam this Friday, I think. Yeah. So they peaked. Well, that's just a repeat of what we were saying before. If something like we've got a new jam session scheduled for this Friday. Come join the fun and help us find canvas too mm -hmm. yeah so maybe all right so got a new yeah join us for a jam session this friday where we'll put our minds together Good. and find a direction for Canvas 2. Hmm. Uh, worth putting in the time there? Just one time zone? Yeah. So I do 2 p.m. EST because that's more normal than the CST. I don't know what... Sure. Yeah, with our, our spread, it's very hard to say what, what is, like, central, uh, rather, like, the central I think central's fine. That's where, yeah, it might it might just That's where the three of us are at, so. <laughs> Keeps it simple. It's in the oh, center of the world. Do. We can do one of our emojis. Lives. Which emoji? Mm. Hmm. Mm. All right, join us for a jam session this Friday, 1 p.m. CST, where we'll put our minds together and find a direction for Canvas 2. Stab Cotto. We'll be hanging yeah, out in Figma. And well, I'm, so I'm well, going to drop the link in for the invite. See, this is I'm seeing they break here. Um, so I would just do this. And then it'll show up. Yep. Who knows? Join us for a jam session this Friday, 1 p.m. CST. No avocado. Uh, do you want the avocado? I mean, sure. I have Every opportunity for a stab cotto. Who wouldn't? Oh, no. I can't Is it stab cotto or stab a cotto? Mm -hmm. Stab cotto. Currently, it's stab cotto. Stab a cotto. Stab a cotto. 
All right. Pressing enter. Wow, wow, wow. I like Slack because they, like, I think they count the different time zones for you. They're, like, across seven time zones. Yeah, they am. do Why do would that, you tell me yeah. that? <laughs> <laughs> Good. Good for me. I like, I like how that did that, but whatever. That's what might look different if you do that. Yep. Cool. Ooh, six people. Sweet. Yay, I'm excited. Is there anything else we need to do ahead of time? Um. I can't think of anything else right now, but my brain is okay. a little. Yep, we can circle back later as needed. Mm -hmm. Cool. Sweet. Good work, everybody. Another one in the bag for next time to get in the bag or something. All right, Craig, leave. How does he leave now? We got Wait, new Craig. leave. I just have to say leave channel. Weird. Do it. 